It is fishing for a water.com episode. We are going to be taking a look here at the EUU underwater fish camera. Now, even though this camera is marketed as a underwater fish camera, let's open our minds to the possibilities of what else this could be used for so that you're not closed minded. I personally feel that this camera can be used for more things than just what it's marketed as. So, whether you're wanting to explore the underwater video you know, underwater but you can't get there with the technology that you have this is a perfect thing where if you want to hang it off of a bridge and put it in the water you got about 50 feet give or take of cable that you can drop this camera down into the water um and it's also i think a great thing for people who do magnet fishing as well so if you're somebody who actually goes out and does magnet fishing, so this might actually help you depending on your water quality. If it's real murky, you might have a bit of a problem. If you've got a little bit more clarity in the water where it's not too dirty, not too stained, the camera might be able to help you out a little bit on identifying what you're working with down there that you might be getting your magnet stuck on, whether it's worth picking up out of water or not. Uh, with a little bit of work with somebody else helping you maneuver the camera and stuff it could be a big help that being said we're going to go ahead and talk about the camera features that we have here well what the accessories that come with this so first thing we're going to start with here is the case here inside the case you would normally have a seven inch monitor which is already here comes with three cables that um basically power the um monitor one provides video signal to the monitor from the camera and the other is to provide power to the camera um, so that it can send signal and um, power the camera and, and all that stuff so these are the three cables here that you would have you have your video which is the yellow cable the black cable is basically to power the camera and then the red cable here plugs into the battery pack and that's basically for the monitor itself you do have some buttons on here i'm not going to go over them but i'll just quickly say that they do cover like the brightness and stuff like that it just covers the stuff for the screen itself it has nothing to do with the camera at all um the next thing we have is a battery pack like i said this is the battery pack here uh you got your red cable that that again powers the actual monitor and it also will give power to everything else when it comes to the camera. You have your black cable here, which is to power the infrared, also known as the LED lights on the camera. And I'll show you those in just a second. Uh, you've got a spool here, which has about 15 meters of um, cable. It's not very thick cabling, so it could get broken or it could break if you get snagged on something. It's not a very strong cable at all, so just be warned. Um, you have three cables that hook up. As I mentioned, you got your video, and then you've got your infrared cable, which is the LED, and you got your cable that powers the camera itself. Um, and then another thing you have is your camera. This is your camera. This thing is pretty weighty. Um, and it does have its pros and cons, which I'm going to talk about. As you can see here, just holding this thing in the air like this, you can already see how it's spinning. And if you have water, it's currently making it move around and stuff. It's not its not easy to keep this still. So if I wanted to have it stay here and look at me, it's a little hard, especially if we have moving water where it's currently moving around and stuff all out of control. It's not something that's easy to keep still especially if the tide is going and there's nothing to keep it down at the bottom other than putting a heavy weight on it but then you got to figure out some type of way to keep it still so it's not moving this way or like a pendulum or something like that in the water as you can see when you're trying to get a stable look at just something you want to look at so that is a a issue that i had to deal with um these uh plastic rings that are on here I put those on there because these allow you to have the camera to stay positioned straight like that. If you don't have these on there, then what happens is, is the camera will just end up either facing like this or pointing down at the bottom like that. It all depends. So 
from what the manual showed, hooking these uh, plastic rings that comes with it like this will keep the camera at an angle like that there. But you still have the problem with it moving all around all crazy and stuff. So that was my problem is trying to get it to stay still and stuff. So with that being said, um, they do sell this camera with a DVR. It's a little bit more money if you want to buy the DVR with the camera. Um, if I could find it on Amazon, which is where I found this camera at, I'll put a link to the description in the description below if you want to purchase the, both of these, either one of them with the DVR or without the DVR. There is another website that you can buy a DVR for this camera, but I will warn you that it will run you about 100 bucks for that camera, uh, for that mini DVR. Uh, it basically records with a micro SD card if I'm not mistaken. I, it's been a while. I know it'll work because I've used it for astronomy. Uh, it's basically just hooking up video RCA cables, which is what this is. It's basically a video RCA cable is all it is um, to that DVR and then you're going to record that way through uh, the mini DVR. Uh, but eventually I'll get, my, I'll get around to getting one. Like I said, it's 100 bucks for that. Um, if you want to record video of underwater where the camera sees and stuff. I'll show you all some video that I took of my cell phone. Take in mind, this is video capturing from my cell phone and the infrared was on. So the screen kind of looks a little red, maybe in the or reddish or like a purplish or a violet color, purple or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's not the call. It's not like the actual way it looks on the screen in person so just take that in mind um but like i said if you want to purchase the one with the dvr you're more local to i'll put it in the description below um but uh anyways um like i said it, my only cons is is that it, first off it's it's a little bit of a hassle trying to um look at stuff in the water that's moving fast so at certain depths of the water unless you're at the bottom of the water where it's more stable at then it's really kind of a hard time trying to keep the camera from going with the tide um, if you keep it at the top of the water or even in like the middle column of a water with an outgoing or incoming tide where I fish at at least that's coming out of the bay area of water going heading out to the gulf i will tell you that it is hard to keep camera from not going with that current especially since that current is moving really fast um let's just say that about a even a four ounce sinker uh could literally go with this current it's that strong um i've seen eight ounce sinkers being pushed with the currents as well so that's how strong the current are for an incoming or outgoing tide that if you're fishing with an eight ounce sinker your line will actually still go with the current even with that much weight on the bottom so that kind of helps you out and that eight ounces of weight is still going to get pushed with the current so anyways i know i wasted enough time with this whole rant um but if you want to see more video I mean, using this camera, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and be notified whenever I um, release a new video, whether it's about this camera or whether it's about something else related to fishing. Um, but in the meantime, that's it. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down there in the comments below. Feel free to check out the description below if you would like to purchase this camera off of Amazon. Uh, it's a affiliate link with Amazon, so it kind of gives me a small kickback on you purchasing it. And, you know, let me know what you think. If you have purchased this camera, any tips you might have for me, recommendations for the camera. Um, always enjoy hearing your feedback. And until then, hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to... Seeing you all in one of my next episodes in comments. Till then, tight line, see you all out there. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.